Hi, welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by. My name is Mitsuko. Today I will share with you my morning skincare routine. So let's just get started. My skin is so dry that I get, um, like it gets flaky around my nose, around here, my forehead, and around my mouth as well. And then sometimes you can see, like if I let my skin, after I rinse it, my skin and I, I just let it air dry, you will see um, wet patches on my skin because it is so dry. So I usually get, it's usually worse during the winter, but during the spring, summer, it's a little bit better, but it's still extremely dry. So all the products I use um, for my skincare routine, morning or night, is all about hydration. My main concern is hydration. So I try to use products that I know that will help maintain and improve the appearance of my skin. Um, and help combat dryness. So first step is using the Ultra Calming Cleanser from Dermalogica. This is the face cleanser. I really like this. I've been using this one for a couple of months. I started using this during the winter and I'm glad I did. So I like to wet my face a little bit. I use maybe this much. And this is great if you have sensitive skin because um, this help with um, redness, dullness, dryness, and uneven um, texture. That's pretty much everything. So then I will rinse my face. And I usually like to put um, the cleanser also on my neck, but not today because I'm not trying to wet my crew neck. <laughs> After I'm done rinsing my face, I like to let it air dry. So that is pretty much it. My face is dry. So the next step is using the um, a toner. And I've been using the Rose Water Deep Hydration Facial Toner and this is the bomb.com this is actually my second bottle i've been using this one for a minute now but what i used to do is apply it with a cotton pad but then i felt like i was wasting the product because most of it would just stay in the cotton pad and then i would just waste the cotton pad as well so i stopped doing that i just put it in my hand and then i'll apply it directly onto my face i wanted a toner that had hyaluronic acid obviously because of its properties hyaluronic acid is great for many things but then also hydration so it was a plus for me. So once I do that, then I like to rub it in my hand like this. And then I pat it on my face. Same thing, I let it air dry as well. And um, before starting with the next one. So I like to use a serum and I recently started using this because I felt like the routine I was doing before wasn't working for me. Um, my skin was really dry during the winter and it was terrible. So I decided to try adding a serum um, to my routine just to see if it would actually help and it did. So I've been using the Glow Recipe Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum Deep Hydration Plus Glow. So. This is what the bottle looks like. Your body does produce hyaluronic acid already. It's just as you get older, the levels go down. So um, by adding that to your routine, it helps um, with fine lines, hydration, and so many other things. But anyways, I use it mostly because of hydration. My skin is really dry, so this helps. So I like to use a pump and a half. It depends on the days. Like some days I find that my skin is so dry. I use two pumps, but sometimes I use one. I like to just, again, rub it in my hand and then apply it on my face. And this dries really fast as well. So I like to wait again, I like to wait for all the products to dry before I go in the next one. So the next skin concern I have, other than my dry skin, I have um, a bit of dark spots on my cheeks, totally normal, but I wanted to add a product that would help 
um, reduce the appearance of the dark spots, sunspots, and whatnot. So I've been using the CEO Glow Vitamin C Plus Turmeric Face Oil for Sunday Riley. So I always like to wait um, a couple of months before I, you know, evaluate if actually if the products actually work or not, because um, some of these take a long time and you have to be, um, you actually have to use them for a while before you start seeing seeing changes. So I really like this one. I use this with my husband. So um, we he also uses it daily in the morning. So maybe that's why it's almost done but I really like it. I think we'll purchase the next the next size up um, next time. Now, I know your face oil, you can put it after your moisturizer, um, but because I put sunscreen, I just, I like to put it before my moisturizer, okay? And then I just use the tip of my fingers and I just rub it in. And I like to wait for this to um, set in a little bit longer just because it doesn't dry as fast as the other products. So I'll probably wait just a little five minutes and then come back and finish the rest of my face. Okay, so it's been roughly five minutes. So I've been using the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. So, and I find that it does hydrate my skin and it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't feel thick. It doesn't just sit on my skin. I feel like it actually just goes in and it's light. It's perfect. So. And I think a lot of people like this too, so I'm not the only one. Clearly this thing is working. And then I like to put the, obviously, can't skip SPF. It's the Shiseido Ultra Sun Protection Lotion. And this is SPF 50. I have two bottles. I've been using this for over a year now. Um, I got this last March and I'm in love. I, there's a couple reasons why I like this sunscreen. It's because one, it won't leave a white cast, blue, purple cast on your face or on your, on your skin. And I mean, I've tried so many sunscreen where I end up looking ashy or I have to make sure I put makeup on top just so my skin is not looking all weird with this one I don't experience that and I love it because it also has SPF 50 and it's a face and body sunscreen now this is the cool thing about this is also waterproof now I haven't been to the beach or in the pool or whatever in a long time um, but I think it's pretty good I mean I apply sunscreen every day and um, this will last you a long time if you only use it for your face now if you use it for your body I don't know about that, but on my face, it's great. I like to put a pretty good amount. And I know some people just put like, they do the finger trick, but I, I just pour it in my hand because realistically, that's just how I apply it. So. And it does have a smell, which I don't mind. And this will dry down. So you have to put it anyways 15 minutes before you leave the house. So um, by the time I leave, you know, it should be fine. Now, the last step is my um, lip balm. And I also like to put um, SPF on, on my lips. And this one has SPF 25. And I love this. A lot of people forget to put SPF also on their lips so don't skip on this if you're wondering what shade i have on my nails um i recently did my nails at home and um i use a shade from sally henson called shall we dance number 130 if you're interested that is pretty much all for today thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to let me know what you think down below in the comments have you tried any of these products are you interested in any of them let me know what you think and don't forget to like share this with anyone who's into skincare and don't forget to subscribe and join the crew and i'll see you next time